Hey there, Hillary here from Old World Home. Welcome back to my channel. I have officially started decorating for Christmas this week and I wanted to kind of take you along and show you what I have been doing. One of the first things that I tackled this week to start the Christmas decorating process in our home was to go around our property and clip a few different types of pine. We are very blessed to have a lot of different pine trees on our property and my absolute favorite is the juniper because it has the really beautiful blue berries on it and we have so much of it so the kids and I went out and you know pulled the wagon along with us and collected a bunch of juniper and also some white pine because I wanted to make a garland with it and I also wanted to fill our urns that we have in front of our garage just some decorative urns and I've seen so many beautiful images of ideas of you know some birch logs and some pine and all sorts of lovely you know overflowing urn ideas and I thought I could probably recreate those images just using materials that I could find at our own home so we spent the morning it was a beautiful chilly morning going out and clipping a bunch of pine finding some logs that we could use that I could cut down to size and I just kind of tried to make them balance so I'd put four of the white pine in one and four in the other and then I went back with some seeded pine that we have on another tree put that in and then kind of tucked in the juniper mostly in the front so you could really see it because again that's like my favorite of the different pine I have and then I also had some magnolia and that was basically it it's basically just a bunch of pine and random yard scraps if you will shoved into an urn and I just think it looks beautiful again it was completely free I have also added like twinkle lights to these in the past or you can put on some Christmas ornaments like the non-breakable ones but I think they turned out great they're really festive and beautiful and really fill up that space nicely so with more of the juniper I went ahead and made a garland out of it and it's actually incredibly easy I have bought garlands in the past and you definitely save time by buying them but they they definitely have a cost to them but truly if you have access to you know greenery and pine trees that you can go and clip from you can actually make it very easily so you just need some wire like some floral wire I've also used zip ties in the past I think I used zip ties last year anything that's going to bind the branches together and you just kind of lay them on top of each other all facing the same direction I snipped off a few lengths of wire to begin with so I could just pull from them instead of having to cut as I was you know putting it together and you just kind of layer them on top of each other so that you don't really see much of the stem you want to kind of have the you know the greenery covering the stem and then if you need to go back and use some more wire to secure in different places that's fine but it really takes no time at all and you can have a beautiful fresh garland that is almost completely free so my garland I wanted to use in our bedroom I wanted to go ahead and make our bedroom really cozy we are not quite ready to decorate like the main parts of the house but I thought our bedroom was a great place to start So I put up the greenery, I just hung it over this vintage mirror that we have in our bedroom. And then with some extra pine, I like to make these little swags. They're so incredibly simple and you don't have to form anything into a wreath or a garland or anything. It's just a little piece of some pine that just naturally has such a beautiful shape to it. And then just attach some ribbon to it. I have this beautiful sort of caramel colored. It looks a little orange on camera, but it's like a really beautiful caramel color and you jets it just hang them up on a command hook and you have really beautiful you know wall decor i like putting them on our closet doors you could also do them on a window or a doorknob somewhere they're just really beautiful and could not be easier i also had this little pine tree that i thought was really pretty but it seemed a little too much with all the pine on the dresser so i actually wound up moving that to my husband's bedside table and i liked it a lot better there i wanted to make our bed really cozy for the you know Christmas season and just winter in general but I didn't really want to invest in all new bedding we have two sets of bedding that I really love and I just 
didn't want to have another to have to take care of and wash and you know keep around i just i like the look of it but i don't really want to have to store it so i thought what if i just got some pillowcases they're gonna fold down flat it'll be very little to store but it'll still add a festive touch to our bed so i went ahead and got this set of two i found it at bed bath and beyond and it's just a flannel plaid like a Christmassy plaid and I absolutely love the colors in it and it was the perfect little accent to you know kind of mix in with the other patterns we have on our bed I kind of like that pattern play of you know subtle pattern on the sheet and different patterns on the pillows and then a really lovely quilted blanket at the foot of the bed it just makes the whole space feel very interesting and very cozy and by the way I found that quilted blanket at the foot of our bed at the thrift store it's originally from Pottery Barn and I paid eight dollars for it so lastly i just went ahead and swept the room took out any little bits and bobs that didn't belong there and just really tidied up the whole space so that i could thoroughly enjoy it in its christmas glory And then lastly, a little touch that I love to add to our kitchen. I definitely have more that I plan to do in the kitchen, but this is kind of always that first step for me is to take out this little bag of ribbons that I label kitchen jars and I use the same ribbons every year. And I just go ahead and tie them around the glass jars that we keep on our counter. And it was so cute as I was doing it, the girls came in and were commenting on it. Oh, you're putting it like that? Cute. She always does that every Christmas. I just found it so precious that it's something that they are already remembering from years past and hopefully for many years to come. So thanks so much for coming along with me today as we decorated a little bit for Christmas and winter. Like I've mentioned, I am hosting a baby shower very soon. So once that is over, then I can go full on Christmas in kind of the main parts of the house. But that's kind of where I've started. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care guys.